everyone and welcome to the activity portion of your Sunday School class. As you know, we were talking about those who mourn and how we can be a comfort and share God's comfort with those who are sad. So if you had the chance to get some tape and your number three delivery bag with maybe stickers, a stamper, this piece of card stock, and a plain piece and a half piece. If you can set those out, then we can get busy with our project. All right, so I want you, if you can think of someone to send a card to or make this card for who you think could really use some of God's comfort, then great, go ahead and do it. If you don't have an idea, you can always ask your parents to help you look at the prayer list for our church and you can find some folks who are in need of comfort, who we are praying for, and you can make the card for them. And then your parents, of course, can help you mail it. Okay, so first thing I want you to do is pull out this card stock that has in the lower corner this little picture and these words. All right, the words say, when you are feeling sad, remember dot, dot, dot. Okay, what I want you to do is use your markers. I don't think I mentioned that you needed those markers handy. Use your markers to create a beautiful stained glass picture around that message. You can just do it however you would like to. Use as many colors or as few colors. All right, then over here it says created just for you by, and then it has a place for you to put your name. So go ahead and put your name. And once you have done that, I'm going to ask you to take the very top of this piece of paper and fold it down until it's touching the bottom. All right, so you have a big rectangle. Then I want you to take one side and fold it evenly to the other side. Now you should have a card that looks just like this. Okay, so your name will be on the back and the message, when you are feeling sad, remember. And then you can open it up and you can use your stamper, stickers, draw pictures, write messages. And I wrote down a few messages that if you're having a hard time coming up with what you wanna say, this might help you. So look at this. So when you open, when they open the card, it says, when you are feeling sad, remember, I am praying for you. You could write that. Remember, God is always with you. Or remember, God hears your prayers. So those are some examples of some sentences you can write in there in your card and remind them that they are loved and that you are praying for them. Okay, now if you want to move up after you finish that card, if you want to move up to a more advanced kind of card, I thought it might be fun to make a pop-up card. Everybody loves cards that when you open them, there's a surprise in them, right? So get your full piece of cardstock. It might be green, it might be another color. I have gray. And then I want you again to take the top and fold it down until it meets the bottom and then make a crease in the middle, okay? All right, so this is gonna be our card. We're gonna open it like this. Now, I want you to take this and put it flat out in front of you and then take the half piece. And if you've made a fan before, then you know what I'm talking about. You're gonna take a little tuck in the paper and fold it down, either maybe three quarters of an inch or so. All right, you're gonna fold it forward and then you're gonna fold the same amount back. And then you're gonna fold it forward and back and 
forward and back and you continue until you get to the end of this paper. And when you get to the end of the paper, this is what it should look like. When you hold the bottom, it should fan out like this, like a little fan, just like that, okay? Now, I want you to turn it on its side and put your fingers in the middle. So now it looks like a bow tie, all right? Now, take the top piece on this side and the top piece on the other side. And I want you to hold them together, just like you're trying to glue them together with your fingers. And if you have tape, I want you to tape those two pieces of paper together. I'm gonna do it here and you try to do it at home. You can staple it, you can tape it, whatever is easiest for you or whatever materials you have to work with. Go ahead and do that. Just give me a second. Okay, so now, if you hold the bottom, it should look like this and be kind of stuck together at the top. Now, do you see how I'm pinching the bottom here? I'm pinching that and I'm gonna bring it all the way down to the middle of my card toward the top of the card. So I'm gonna put it right here like this and then I'm going to tape these pieces down. And I'll, if you're not sure what I mean, I'll show you and then you can try it. It might take a couple of pieces of tape to secure it or again, staple or glue. And you might have to tape it down in the front and the back, just a hair. So now, What you have, it should look just like this. If you hold it up, it should stick kind of straight out. All right, and then when you fold it closed, remember that fold we made? Okay, you're gonna open it, gonna, it's gonna go boom. And then the last step, or one of the last steps, is I want you to take a pen or marker and we're gonna draw a big, line with a hook or a letter J, a long letter J. Now, what does that look like to you? It should look like an umbrella, all right? So it's kind of like a pop-up umbrella. And this is where you can write something like, feeling no low, know that God is here, or anything, because sometimes um, we use umbrellas on cloudy, or rainy days, right? And cloudy and rainy days are kind of, that's kind of a description of how you feel when you're feeling sad. So anyway, I just thought that would be a fun card. And again, send it to someone who needs to feel God's comfort. All right, one more thing. I am going to ask you to get your Beatitude beads and your string and I forgot to do our bead last week. So we get to put two new beads on this week. So last week we talked about blessed are the poor in spirit. Remember, those were the ones who were hurting on the inside. So you can, if you have put your mountain bead on, and maybe I put a few extra beads to make some pretty colors and to, deck, to make it more decorative. Now, blessed are the poor in spirit is the red bead. So you may go ahead and put your red bead on. Got a really long piece of cord here. And then you can add as many of these beads as you would like. And the final bead that you are going to add this week is blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. So this is the blue bead, it's so pretty. All you have to do is add the blue bead, 
last and you are finished with your beatitude beads for this week and last week and i want to remember remind you to join us on february 10th between 4 30 p.m and 6 p.m we are having a drive through in the parking lot where you can come and pick up a valentine packed lunch and the next four lessons their next four delivery bags so i hope to see you then and before we leave let's go ahead and say a little prayer will you pray with me dear comforting god thank you for our tears and how they teach us and free us to be closer to you and to connect with each other. Thank you for holding the pain that makes us cry and for crying with us. Please help us to be your comfort to someone this week. In your name we pray, amen. All right, thank you for joining me. We'll see you next time and I hope to see you on the 10th. Take care.